Hello everyone, Fountain Pens writing here with a new Fountain Pen review. Today we are going to take a look at one of the best, if not the only, Platinum Itumus inspired pen on the market, the Lotus Vikrant in Conway Stewart Dartmoor finish. Let's start! The pen arrives in this box. There is these white sleeves with the logo of the Lotus on the top and a handwritten number on the side maybe it indicates the number of the pen the sleeves came off revealing this well handmade wooden box i don't know if it's an old wooden box or if it was made that way on purpose but it is nice there is the logo of the company on this corner the box opens up and you can see this beautiful handmade pen kimono where you can find the pen it's really a nice touch because with this kimono you get a test of Indian culture uh, let's have a look uh, at this kimono with the Indian elephant a cultural symbol of majesty, luck and good fortune and here we have this big beautiful pen let's take a look at it The Lotus Vikrant is a pen inspired by the Platinum Mitsumo. The pen shows a distinctive bulbous shape and the barrel has two steps where it taps gently. This shape is unique and unconventional. A great job has been done in creating a design inspired by but quite different from the Platinum Mitsumo shape, not a copy or knockoff. The material is the Conway Stewart Dartmoor Acrylic it's gorgeous with its brilliant satoyans with this cracked eyes finish and its dark brown color top and bottom are rounded and on the cap there is this beautiful simple and elegant clip with the logo on the top in this triangular area while the clip gently tapers downwards the cap unscrews with almost two rotation revealing a small step down from the barrel and here there are the threads made of brass the section, made of the same acrylic of the pen, is very long and girty. The peculiar bulbous shape of the pen is reminiscent of the Platinum Izumo, with enough differences to stand out. The section on the other hand is heavily inspired by the Izumo, but this shape gives the pen the right and unique appearance. There is a small lip at the bottom of the section, and then you have the classic Yovo number 6 steel nib. I choose the broad on this pen. On the nib you can see the logo of the company. And here you can see the classic Yovo plastic feed. The barrel unscrews and you can see that the section is made entirely of acrylic, while the threads are part of the barrel. The pen comes with this classic international converter, and I am not sure if you can add dropper this pen, but with the converter the pen works just fine. As you can see, this pen is an oversized pen, big and chunky, and this brass part gives substance to the pen, making it feel great in the hand with perfect balance and weight. It feels very comfortable in the hand while writing, and the shape of the barrel is incredibly ergonomic. You can hold the pen almost anywhere you want, low, on the threads or high, and it will remain very comfortable and balanced. Now it's time to compare this pen with other fountain pens. As I said, the Lotus Vikrant is an oversized pen, bigger even than the Opus 88 Bella, but not so chunky, and outshines the Platinum 3776 which is not a small pen. Uncapped the pen is the longest of the group. The pen cannot be paused. If Mr. Aaron manually polished this nib, he did a great job. It has a much more pronounced feedback than the typical broad nib. It is not glossy on the paper and gives you much more control while writing. With this writing sample, I'm using a simple italic script 
which is very easy to learn and quite readable and quick to write. As always, for all my writing samples I use the Waterman Blue to get a consistent comparison between the nibs to see if they are dry or wet, and this broad nib is wet. Like all Jobos steel nibs, this nib is hard so there is no point in looking for any line variation. This pen design is one, if not the best and unique I have come across, inspired indeed by the Platinum Izumo, but with enough differences to stand out of its own. The work done of this pen is fantastic, the acrylic is gorgeous and the writing experience is superb. This is a great pen in every aspect. The presentation is just fine, not too flashy or cumbersome, and with a touch of Indian culture that never hurts. The pen feels great in the hand, the nib works great and the finish is incredible well done. Maybe, I repeat, perhaps a number 8 nib will be more suitable considering the size of this pen, I don't know. With about 120 euro or dollars you get a great pen, especially in this gorgeous acrylic. And that's all. Thank you for watching this video, if you like it please consider leaving a thumb up. For the next review we will take a look at the Pilot Justice 95, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel, you won't miss that video. See you soon!